In this video, we're going to do an in-depth dive of the use memo hook. By the end of the video, you'll have enough knowledge to know how it works, when to use it, and how to use it in your own programs. The purpose of use memo is to store the result of a calculation. The term memo is just short for the term memoization. Not memorization, but memoization. To memoize something in programming means to store it somewhere, and then the next time you need it, you can just grab that stored value instead of trying to calculate it again. If I wanted to calculate the factorial of 100, for instance, this might take a bit because it requires so many calculations. What would be nice is if we can memoize it and store this value somewhere, so that the next time we need to calculate the factorial of 100, we could just pull this value from memory instead of having to rerun the program again and take up extra time and space. And that's exactly what use memo is in React. Here's how it works in the context of React and the idea of React re-rendering. As we know with React, every single time state changes within a component or its props change, that component is going to re-render. What if we have a value in our component that requires some expensive calculation, but the calculation itself is the same value every single render? It will be wasteful to keep running that calculation every single time the state updates on the page if the value itself is not changing. And that's exactly where use memo comes in handy. The use memo hook allows us to store the value of a calculation in memory and only run the calculation again if its value is going to change. To show you how this works, I've set up an example here. In this example, we've got a simple React page. We have a function here called slow function that intentionally takes a long amount of time. The function is just stalling out and then returning double whatever number it was passed in. So we stall the function by basically saying, uh, or having a for loop that has the I value of going to, let's say like a hundred billion or something, which is gonna take a very long amount of time. And then after that, it just returns twice of whatever the argument it has passed in, which is just num. Right below where the function is defined, we are calling that function and passing in random number which is just this piece of state we made up here. And then we're setting that all equal to a new variable we made just called double number. So down here in our JSX, we have a button that generates a random value for our number and sets that value equal to this random number piece of state that we have went ahead and defined up here. And then directly below that, all we're doing is printing out the double number that we define right here. And for right now, don't worry about all this class name stuff I have here. This is just some Tailwind CSS styling I did to make the page look a little bit cleaner. On top of that here, if you look up to the top of our code, we have this piece of state here that we're just calling bool with the setter function of set bool or initializing to false by default. And we can change that back and forth by this button down here. So every time this button is clicked, it'll just change to true or false depending on what it currently is. And then directly below it, we're just printing that off. So if it is true, this will say Boolean is true. If it's false, it'll say Boolean is false. All in all on our page, we just have a random number, double whatever our random number is, and then a Boolean piece of state. And those are the important things, plus this slow function that we have defined here. Now, if we look over to our site here and click the button to generate our number, notice how it takes the page a minute before it actually spits it out. So when this button is clicked, our number is updated, which then re-renders the component. When the component is re-rendered, we are also calling this slow function again and then storing it in double number right here. The program lags because the function is slow and can't compute instantly. And it makes sense that we wanna re-render this function each time because each time we click this button here, we do wanna generate a new number. Here's where it gets kind of interesting though. If we go over to our site and click on this change Boolean button, notice how we also have lag on our page. We're not even dealing with anything remotely involving this number over here. And yet this function right here, this slow function is still being ran and causing our page to lag. And this is entirely because of the fact that when React re-renders to show our updated Boolean state, it's also having to rerun this function again and it's reassigning this variable here, which we know takes time because this is a very slow function. Now in this particular case, the perhaps obvious solution would be to use a use effect hook to manage this function and when it's called. But let's just pretend for the sake of this example that we need to have this function be called in the top level of the component itself and not in a use effect or anywhere else. Here's how we can solve this lag when re-rendering problem when we're clicking this Boolean button. So what we want to do is import the use memo hook from React up top here. And then whenever we're setting the value of our double number here, what we can do is we could wrap this function in a use memo hook, just like this. We'll say use memo, and we'll put it around like this. And then like many other things with React, we wanna make this a function definition and not a function call. So let's just make this a quick arrow function like this, and we'll make some space here. Um, this should be like this, this should go here, and then that should go right there. And one important thing to keep in mind, because we're assigning this to a variable, we actually wanna make sure this is returned here. So I'll just go ahead and write return slow function like this. And then in addition to taking in our function as its first argument, just like useEffect, useMemo's second argument is actually a dependency array. 
and a dependency array that works exactly in the same way that useEffect does. Basically, we can put variables in this dependency array here, and any time any of those variables change, we can run this useMemo hook. This dependency array is how we can specify when we want our function to run again. Otherwise, if nothing in the dependency array changes, we should just not run the function again, and we can instead pull the value from memory, meaning we have essentially memoized it. In our case, the function we used to double our number only depends on one thing, and that's what the value of num is, which in this case is just random number. The only time we would logically want double number to change is when number itself is changed, because that just makes sense. Therefore, let's just go ahead and add random number to our dependency array. Now, if we go ahead and just save this, and we click on our button here, you can see it still lags, which makes sense because we have to run the function regardless because random number itself is changing and is in the dependency array. However, notice now whenever we change the Boolean value, it's no longer lagging like it was before. I can click it as fast as possible and it is updating instantly. This is because we've now just made it so that our number doubling function here, this slow function, will only run whenever the random number is changed because of the fact that we have now wrapped it in use memo. Therefore, now anytime we change the Boolean value, it is not rerunning and thus it is not lagging anymore. So this is, I'd argue, the biggest and most common use case of use memo. When you have a function in the main part of your component that does not need to rerun on every single re-render, only on certain ones. In our case, when we change the Boolean, it doesn't make any sense to rerun this function again. Therefore, we should wrap it in use memo and add number to its dependency array here. Therefore, it will only recompute whenever random number changes which logically makes sense because random number is the only value this function actually depends on. Another use case of use memo would be to avoid re-rendering child components if you had props. In React, anytime a component's props are changed, the component will re-render. So imagine we have this exact same scenario we had before, but now we have another component in our code just called button. All this button component does is take the double number in as props and then it displays it out. And here you can see that in our actual really simple button component here. Inside of this button component, we also have a console log that's just saying button is re-rendering now. Because this console log is in the highest level of the component, it'll run every time the button is re-rendered. And I'm putting this here so I can show you something important. Now real quick, let's just remove our use memo for just a moment so I can show you something. So instead of having this here, I'm just going to comment it out for now. I'm just going to remake this. I'm going to say, let's say const double number equals slow function of random number like we had before. Without use memo, we know that every time we do something involving state, like changing this Boolean value here, we'll re-render the component entirely and thus rerun this expensive calculation, even if we don't actually need to. However, now double number is a dependency for this button component here. And remember, anytime the props change in a component, that component will also re-render. So every time double number changes, this button is going to re-render as well. To show you this, I can open up the console here. I'm going to clear this out, and I'm just going to click change Boolean here. And notice every single time we're changing our Boolean value, it's re-rendering our button for no reason, despite the fact that button's value isn't actually really changing. And just like it doesn't make sense to rerun this expensive calculation when we're changing this Boolean state that has literally nothing to do with the calculation, it also doesn't make any sense to be re-rendering this button component down here, despite the fact that nothing is changing. So if I go ahead and just delete this line here and bring back our use memo hook like we had before, and then I go ahead and save it, and then I open up our console again, clear this out, and I start clicking change boolean, notice how it still says that button is re-rendering. So we're on the right track with use memo, but we need to do one more step to make sure the button doesn't re-render whenever the props aren't changing. What we can do to ensure this, in addition to using the use memo hook, is to actually just use a component also called memo. So we can do, it can say import memo from React here, go down, autofill like this, and now we just imported this memo component that we're gonna use on our button. And then what we want to do is essentially wrap this entire button component in this memo component here. So there's not a good way to do this with the current notation we have for our function. So I'm going to rewrite this just like this. So I'm going to take away this export for a second. I'm just going to go ahead and say const button. And then I'm going to say equals function button like this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add my memo right here. So we're going to say memo like this. And you want to make sure we wrap this entire function in memo. And then to go ahead and still export our button here, we can just do export and then have button just like this. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is saved here. I'm gonna go ahead and just refresh just in case here. And now that we've added this memo component wrapping our entire button function, as well as, well as use use memo for our double number, we should now hopefully not have to re-render the button every single time this Boolean is clicked. So let's go ahead and check that. Let's go into our uh, console here. Let's go ahead and press change Boolean. 
And you can see now it is no longer saying button is rendering now. Let me quickly explain what this memo thing is right here. So by default, whenever a parent component re-renders, all of its children will re-render regardless of whether it's state or props change. This memo essentially blocks that. So what memo says is that the child component is only going to re-render if it's props or state change. So that's why if you use it in conjunction with a use memo hook, that it actually works that way. So we can avoid re-rendering a child component unnecessarily. Now for tiny components like this button, this isn't really gonna be a problem at all. And you probably shouldn't be trying to over optimize and use memo on something like this problem. But imagine this button component was a huge component that had maybe five or more medium sized components inside of it. And then when clicking this change bool button, we're re-rendering this whole huge component for no reason at all and causing our code to slow down and be inefficient for no reason. If this is the case and we have perhaps a very large component or a component that takes a lot of calculations and might take a long time, then it might be useful to use memo. But on a case like this, it's really not that necessary. The use memo hook is perhaps a bit more difficult to understand than the more common ones like use state or use effect. But nonetheless, it can prove helpful in your program if you're wanting to optimize certain calculations and re-rendering. One thing you might be wondering is if memoizing stuff helps to avoid unnecessary overhead and makes our code faster, why don't we just memoize everything? Well, you probably shouldn't do this. Keep in mind that every time we memoize something, we have to store the value somewhere. And in our case, we're storing it in the memory. If we have a decent sized app and we're memoizing practically everything, that's gonna eat up a lot of memory and could definitely lead to some performance issues among other problems. So it's best to only use use memo if you absolutely have to. Let's quickly summarize use memo. Use memo memoizes a value in your program, meaning it stores it in memory for later. In React, this provides two primary use cases. Number one, to avoid expensive recalculations of a value when the value isn't changing. And then number two, to avoid re-rendering components via props when the props aren't changing. And when you do this, you're usually gonna to wanna to use that memo component with it. I hope this video helped in teaching you how use memo works. If it did, please consider subscribing or liking the video as it helps me out tremendously. Good luck on your React journey and have a great rest of your day.